Hello and welcome once again to the Forward Compatible Podcast. This is episode 90, part 1, for October 27th, 2013. My name's Tony. I'm joined, as always, by my fellow podcasters, Mark and Jason. All right. We actually have the whole crew back together for the first time in what seems to have been months. FCP! <laughs> we did we did a part two together like three weeks ago. Just us three? Yeah. Because that's where the picture... Oh, yeah. Where the, the, from. Uh-huh. The, oh, the, the absolute greatest picture ever taken... Mm-hmm. It's actually a still frame on our YouTube page. It's for uh, one of them. Like I'm looking off like this, Mark's like this, and Jason's like we actually made it that the, uh, or something. We changed it on the uh, Facebook. I know this is our Facebook background. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, well, thanks YouTube. I suppose we kick off the show with our weekly roundtable and catch everybody up on what we've been playing since last time. We he listened. I beat Cracking Time. How'd you like it, good sir? And it was my favorite. Of the it's my favorite future of the future series. Really? Yeah, yeah. I like the first one better. No, I know. Yeah, you're you're definitely in the first one. Um, I, I just like the you know new characters, old characters. Everything I'm just like such a nefarious fan. I said something. I'm another. I'm a nefarious fan as well too. So he's so fucking good. Yeah, he's he's a good villain. <laughs> <laughs> and Lawrence, Lawrence is just awesome. Lawrence is hysterical. Yeah. 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 Um, so that was cool. Um, did some Grand Theft Auto. Uh, let's see. I think me and Jason got online for a little bit with GTA. No, no, that wasn't this week. No, no, we still haven't played yet. That. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, you, wait, you wait. went away for an hour. Andrew and Dillon never came back. Andrew Dillon bullshit checker. Did I not call that they would still not play by this episode? Mm-hmm. You guys owe me oh, this was something, bang. something random. No, no, I don't even want Sorry. that. I don't even want. It. I could get that whenever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want something random like a. Like a not swift kick in the ass. Like a, I don't know, like I'm like an ear, like an ear of corn, <laughs> or like a like a Bring like some b- pumpkin I wanna, pie I mix. I want a can. I want a can of beans. Well, we're gonna find my basement. All right, that's that's, that's my winnings. You know, it's gonna. Is be he gonna pull out a real ear of corn? That'd be hysterical. You get one baby red potato. Suck it, <laughs> suck it, internet. You don't get this red potato. I get it. Baby red. Is that mold? A little no. bit of mold. It's a little bit of mold. Mold? There's no mold on there. Just go with it. Pumpkin I'm lying now. The pumpkin, the pumpkin. The pumpkin didn't make it. This is our last October episode. It died. <laughs> yeah. It's dead. They even made Halloween. You guys, you guys saw the slow decline <laughs> from two weeks ago to what it was last week, and this week it is just. Go put. It is yeah. done. Actually, do you even have it still? Is it actually about thrown out? I threw, I threw it out. I figured you'd throw it out. Yeah, yeah I didn't see it. His anywhere. eyes were getting fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> A little fuzzy, fuzzy faced. Yeah. I think it's you covered a little too early. Yeah. Well, no, no. I think I just, I th- like you said, the mouth is a little too open. And then I had him in the window, and then I had him in the house, and I had him in the window, had him back in the house. So. Yeah. Got to make up your mind, sir. Mm. Yeah. You playing anything else good, sir? Um, I did, what is it, Hotline Miami, because that's free. I only did a little bit of that. Oh, and I did um, Poker Night, and I installed it because I just, it runs just so horribly. Oh, so horribly on a, on a console. I have it. I have it installed, and I also got the Hotline in Miami, but I haven't played it yet. Mm. So how do you like it, sir? Same thing. No, I heard it's better on the consoles actually. No, because no I, mean, I downloaded both of them also. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, no, I mean, it, it plays well on a controller, um, and it's just as good as it, you know. It's the same game it's with controller support essentially. So it's good. It's good. It's great. Free. Go get it. Ten bucks. You buy it anyway. Plus. Yeah, you should have played it. Yeah. And I made a mistake. Um, I told Brian. That uh, Walking Dead was free on the store. It's only two fifty yeah, for the, the entire thing, the season. The thing was is that see, I had when it originally came out, I bought the season pass. Yeah, and I only downloaded episode one. Mm-hmm. So then on the PlayStation Store, it showed all the other ones for free for me. Yeah, so I'm like, it's free. Get you, it. You know why they did? <laughs> it's that, raining, Walking Dead. Because that was the only way to um, actually get four hundred days to work. So they had to give away episode one for free. Yeah. Well, they they actually gave it away way before that too, though. No, I know yeah. it was, but that was the only workaround for it. PlayStation Plus gave Episode One and Two away for free. They did. Oh. They did. Now it's only two fifty <coughs> for five episodes. If you haven't played it in your PlayStation Plus member, buy it. That sale is recalculus. That's going on right now. Mm. I'm, I think I want to pick up Resident Evil Four HD. It's like four dollars or something. It's I like, bought really? that during the uh, Xbox Summer Sale for like four dollars. Yeah. I haven't touched it. 
game's garbage. I stole it from a trade-in. I like, in, um, I like four, Resident though, Evil, so. the Chronicle, or whatever the heck is, the mm-hmm. anthology. I, I mean, like I like four right. a lot. I think that was the last truly great one they made. So, um, I did some more GTA Online this week. Uh, I was watching. Yeah, some of it. Were you? Well, it was technically after last week's episode. You were watching or before. Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were supposed to play. I got up to like fifty grand, did and then happen? blew the fifty grand, and then got back up to fifty grand. And how are you blowing the money? Um, cars. Oh, uh, buying cars. Well, I finally. Are you modding them? I had I had two cars, um, and then driving down the street was the Gauntlet Classic that I wanted. Mm-hmm. So I jacked the guy out of it, went and li- licensed and insured that. Yeah. And then I was like, I want a bike, so I ordered a bike off the internet. Have you been? Um, if you find a ridiculously awesome car or bike, have you been going to then sell it to the, uh, the mm-hmm. customer? Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So that's a really good way for some little bit of mm-hmm. money I've seen. Um. Angry Andy was over this week and playing some GTA on my system, and uh, he was uh, he was doing some bounties, hunting do- down bounties. Oh yeah, yeah. That's cool. uh, and he's I been did... on safari lately. Yeah, yeah. In the uh, mm. South African. No, uh... no more. It's okay. Mm. Um, and then I think it was maybe, yeah, it was Wednesday night. Uh, I played for about four hours and did nothing but races with one other guy. At the airport, and it was just a, an oval track. And, like, the whole time that I'm playing, the intro to Top Gear is playing in my head. <laughs> As we're racing around. And then, um, I went Friday morning and picked up Batman Arkham Origins and didn't sit down and play it until yesterday morning. And I'm probably about four hours into it already. Batman. And um, if you are a Batman fan Who's and Batman? you liked... Arkham City, you will, you will enjoy this one. Um, I, I had some reservations because it was made by WB Montreal and Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill weren't in it. But it's so far, I've got no complaints. I heard the voice acting's fine. They, did, yeah. they both did a good... Well, um, the, the guy who does Joker is the same guy who does Joker in Injustice and in Lego. So my only problem with... with Troy you talking Baker. about Troy, Boy, Troy, Troy Baker? Baker. Yeah. He's awesome. The, the only problem that I have with Troy Baker, and you can very easily find any of his audio of him doing the voice of the Joker online, is he tries really, really hard. He does a great job and a great impersonation of Mark Hamill. And to me, it's like, if you're going to do that, then just have Mark Hamill. I mean, I understand he's retired, but like, change it up. Make him your own. Don't just do what somebody else does. Troy Baker's really, really good. He's got so many different voices. He, he was like... The main protagonist in The Last of Us. He's the main protagonist in fucking. Uh, I'm trying to think. Bioshock. Of, he's he's like he's almost as big as Nolan North. I'm trying to think of who does the voice of Batman in it, and I can't think of who it is either. Um, that is him. It's Troy Baker. No, no, Troy Baker's Joker. Oh, Batman's. Um, it's not Nolan North. I've heard. Is it? No, 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 I've heard both these names in the last week, and I just don't remember. Them. Yeah, me too. Um, let me go. No, I only know Troy Baker because fucking. So it's Troy Baker. It's Troy I will find out. Baker. Keep it. Keep it rolling for a second. Uh, are you Are you done out. with what you played? Um, yeah, that. I mean, that was. I, I did a couple of iOS games. The the Batman Companion app because oh, of course it unlocks P- stuff. PVZ too. You guys were doing some PVZ. Plus for Zombies um, too. Now on Android. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I, I really go download anything it. else. Free, free shit. Uh, I downloaded Hotline Miami and Poker Night and didn't play either of them. Uh, as for myself, I had probably the saddest week of gaming since we started this podcast. Mm. Uh, I had, I always make fucking time. I really do. Even if, even if I right, I already won that. You can't offer me my own shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like even if, um, you know, even if I'm super busy, I always find time. This week there was just nothing. Uh, the only few hours I had available between all my jobs was a little bit Friday evening, and I elected to go to the casino. Instead, I lose money. Gotta lose that money. Lost a little bit of money. It was only a little bit. It was a very, very little bit of money. I lost like twenty three bucks. Um, but uh, then I got here today and I played a little Plants for Zombies too because I found out it launched on Android. So that's that's it. <laughs> You're welcome. Nolan North is uh, the Penguin in Nolan North's everybody. Yeah. yeah. You if you played a video game, you you know Nolan North. He's kind he's kind of like um, Mike Rowe. 
on Discovery, you know, from Discovery yeah. Channel. He just does the voice of everything. <laughs> Ford. I um, like Mike Rowe. Roger Craig Smith is the voice of Batman. I'm not familiar with him. That's not the name I recall them saying. I'm looking at it right now. It's on IMDb, so it's not like I'm on some BS wiki page. IMDb. IMDb. They're notorious for <laughs> fucking up everything. Everything. As good as VG charts. <laughs> <laughs> he was also Sonic the Hedgehog in Super Smash Brothers. With a lot of voice acting there. All right. News! News! This is the sexy, competent news this week. It's a combo. It's a combo. Supplied by Mr. Berg. Read by Mr. Mark. Um, <laughs> only reason is because I was... Um, it was Halloween weekend-ish, so let's go with that. Moving on. No more details. We got PS4 Party Chat is going to support eight people. We're three, so we can't even fill half that. Really, 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 really quick, really quick. Don't mean to, to backtrack. Oh, uh, this guy actually, he's he is the voice actor for Sonic the Hedgehog. Nice. Um, yeah, like Sonic. in everything. Like he was in Wreck-It Ralph as Sonic, and he's done all the recent Sonic games. Um, and he was Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 6. Oh. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right um, only got a good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I know... What's the 360 support? Seven currently? Uh, is it seven right now? I thought it was. What? Uh, party chat. Is it seven or is it eight? I think it's six. I think it's six or seven. It's I don't six. think it's six. Go six. Going with six. Okay, here's the Fact thing. checker. I've only been in party chats with uh, six people like twice. Uh, it's annoying. This is so much going on. It's, it's way too many. Like three or four is max. I mean, you see how often we talk over each other just in this show or double people. No, we don't do that very never, often. Never, never. Never, never. And, uh, like... What? <laughs> when you when you try to play with fucking six... Like, we've done it in... I think Gears was the, the main game that we did it a few times in. Oh, yeah, uh, easily. You know, when we had, like, a full horde set or whatever and just one guy hanging out playing something else. And uh, it, it's just too much. It is way too much. So, eight, great. Great, it supports that. Uh, I don't think I'll personally ever utilize it. Maybe it's once just, or twice. No. I'll never, never, ever use it. I mean, to me, there's no difference. I'll have to make up for them, so I'm going to use it all the time. <laughs> to me, there's no difference if it's f- five or 50, because I don't think I'll ever get in a group bigger than five. There's just... 50 would be terrible. What, like, what game, like, besides sporting games, do yeah. you even need... I think... I'm also surprised, because, uh, you know, just thinking about this now, I mean, we used to, I don't know how much, how big raids in uh, City Heroes used to be, but WoW back in the day was 40. Um, I don't know how we ever did that. Certain instances were, were fifty. Okay. Yeah. Now we didn't we didn't voice Bat- chat for them though. Battlegrounds was. Yeah. I think the biggest the biggest Xbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, dude, I will give you a dollar if you bite into that like a fucking apple. A raw ass fucking potato. Yeah. A dollar. Yeah. I'll do it for five. I don't have. A <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the uh, the biggest group that I was in was uh. uh Battlefield, uh, 1943 on Xbox. I mean, as far as Xbox goes, yeah. Because we had, and I know I've talked about it. What 24th have they supported on that? Yeah, it was all the GameStop people and all the people from the movie theater. We were all on one team, Mm -hmm. so we were all talking to each other. So that was actually, but that was in game. That wasn't the actual like chat system. You know, I don't know how my guild ever used to do it because I I never shut up. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, I never shut, never shut up. I, I don't, my guild loved me somehow. I don't get it. Fucking, they they love me. They love me. They, they used really to give me all the good me. gear. And I don't know where any of them are this day. Mark Anderson. Anderson. Durson. Wrestling fans out there. Durson. 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 Stack all fading away slowly. <clears throat> More news! <laughs> More sexy, confident news. <laughs> Die as confidently as <coughs> you're, you're, you're interrupting my competent news story. It's not as sexy now because of your death. Rockstar announced the first big, I don't know, patch, I guess, or update, I guess, to Grand Theft Auto Online. Um, this is going to be adding um, beach vehicles, more weapons, and a lot of more of the jobs, actually. And mm-hmm. the parachuting, I believe, is finally going to be available. Parachuting is available. You're just not high enough level. I'm not high enough level. 
What level are you? I meant like the parachuting like missions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They just they unlock eventually. Yeah, I'm playing them. Yeah. Apparently. Well, what level are you? I don't know. I just kind of mess around and shoot people. I'm and like run 23. Shit. Yeah, I haven't been doing many games. I think I'm probably like six or seven. Like yeah. I said, um, I didn't. The only thing I'll do is races. I don't really care about TDM because the one game I, was I don't. In, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, don't I get a lot of TDM. Spanish matchmaking. Really? Yeah, I have not been in. I funny enough, um, about half the races I've been in, and the only TDM game I was. In, I've done one TDM, and it was um, two Spanish guys on my team who I think were drunk or something because uh, I had like twenty three kills, and Orale, I had seven Marcos. combined from all of them, uh, and uh, we barely lost still. So it was wrong. I just I mute everyone. What are the dogs watching in the other room? <laughs> that TV's really loud just to entertain the dogs. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why it's on. Whatever, they're quiet. <laughs> it's working. Yeah, it's working. Um, so anyway, there you go. We'll get more missions, more jobs, more ranks. And uh, hopefully we'll get the stimulus package finally. They were talking about it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, they wanted a lot of the bugs um, fixed. Yeah, because some it. people are still losing their player progression and everything like that. Um, so they want to they wanna fix that first. Which is understandable. I'd I, hate, I hate to get half a million dollars and then my character disappears. I, you know what I'm going to hate is, uh, personally I'm going to do this, but uh, once people log in, turn... Mm-hmm. Killing them as fast as possible once the stimulus package. Well, they they changed that though. You only drop five hundred, uh, max five hundred at a time. Didn't know that. Yeah. Good enough. Good enough. That's why I don't read patch notes. Apparently, really, he doesn't really play GTA. No, I haven't really been playing ever since I beat it. I'm just yeah. I like the single player, and uh, I, I haven't really found too much. I still haven't beat it. I don't like how. So about that ending. About that ending. I made Tony a little mad earlier. Mm. They start pants. spoiling games. They're, they're bastards. Sorry. They're fucking bastards, both of them. So now, they're trying, now they're trying to fill me up. They're trying to get. They're trying to get all up on this. This awesome. Is that Irish t- Spring. This awesome Tony <laughs> Nanny. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Whatever's cheap. I think it's Dial. <laughs> <laughs> nice. When I'm at the WalMarts, whatever's like, ooh, ten bars for three bucks. That's my soap for the next couple months. <laughs> <laughs> he is definitely a cheap bastard. That's for sure. <laughs> Anywho, uh, next story. Uh, so who's got 4000 Brazilian dollars to spend this upcoming year? Depends. What's that in real money? I, oh! oh! I mean, if you, if, 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 you want, if you want to be technical, I guess Tony does. Apparently. With the conversion, yeah, right? The conversion, right? I have no... Yeah, go ahead with the story. Um, approximately, uh, it is 1800 US dollars. So, there, there you go. That's... that's um Yeah, the PS4... What is it? Four thousand dollars in Brazilian money? In Brazilian money, yes. Um, and sixty-three percent of that is actually due to taxes and import fees. Mm-hmm. And Sony even came out and said that that's it's ridiculous. Yep, that's that's what I was uh, gonna s- sort of suggest that half of that was from was either tariffing and and yeah uh, taxes and stuff like that because there's no way st- there's no way any anybody will really no well, Brazil Bra- you, Brazil's but... like a a decently well-off country, you know what yeah, I mean? They're, yeah. they're not, like, third world or anything. Brazil's doing very well. Yeah. Uh, similar, they got similar, similar economy to... to yeah, they actually, got coming. Actually, they got a similar economy to us. Uh, they actually have the lowest fuel prices in the world uh, per gallon. It's because everybody drives mopeds there. No, it's because they use alternative fuel. Mopeds. And they make their own. Alternative fuel mopeds. I'm serious. It's not a monkey no, brain. It's like 20 cents a gallon or something out there. It's ridiculous. It's awesome. Made out of monkey brains. And uh, yes, yes. <laughs> There's just so many monkeys in Brazil. That's how they. That's how they. they it's because they're they, dropping out now. They the found. They found a way to get out of the fossil. Our cars business. run on trees. <laughs> but uh, like I, I don't know. That's that's so insane. That that something could. Sixty three percent. But still, that's like nine hundred dollars. Well, less like well, eight hundred. Well, round it up. Say it's a it's a thousand dollars. That makes the system eight hundred still. No, because he said sixty three percent was taxing and tariff. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's eight. It's how much? Three grand. Oh, eighteen hundred. Yeah. It's well, thirty. Three. It's it's four. It's four grand in Brazilian dollars. It's about eighteen hundred in U.S. dollars, though. So that's like twenty two hundred dollars worth of taxes. Yeah, kind of. Oh, that's ridiculous. Um, and the Xbox One is actually going to sell in Brazil for um, $2,200, actually. So almost half the price. Um, so that's 1000 US dollars. How did that work out? I don't know. That's a thing. Well, the, I mean, the exporting fees from Japan are going to be different than the exporting fees from uh, uh, the United States. Plus, well, technically, the consoles are being made in Foxcom anyway. I know, but like you would think that they could... 
get around that by like shipping the the councils to like the U.S. And well, there's there's like world trade laws and stuff that like screw everything up. Like, I guess there's going to be a heck of a market though. Uh, I think uh, right off the bat, uh, kind of like the the gray or black market. Oh yeah, uh, those eBay, Amazon, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm sure those will those will be the first people to buy them up when they're a few hundred dollars. I just don't get why they don't. Like I, I don't know if the if the electrical is different down there or because aren't they region free? No, so like PlayStations, yeah. yeah. So yeah. why wouldn't you just order one for the states for four hundred, pay the hundred or two hundred to ship it, and you're done. Probably a little bit easier said than done. I mean, I mean you have to find a place that actually sells it and who will ship it to you. And yeah. I mean, because you know, like most like you know Best Buy games, we're not, not going to ship. Well, it I mean that's that's the great thing about Amazon, though. Yeah. You sign up for Prime, you get free two day shipping. Yeah, it's good to but go. That'll that'll region lock them to the Brazil side of it, though. I think, won't it? Like, I don't know if you can just go. I can Amazon order stuff off to of Amazon U- UK. Yeah, just like that... uh, Amazon.co.uk. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering, like, how does that yeah. work with this taxing of it? Because they'll have to realize it's going to Brazil, and they'll have to have. I, I would assume. It I'm depends. Not sure. I'm, I'm going to import a. a, a what is it, the 64 gig uh, memory card for the Vita? Because they're all region free. Yeah. It costs, uh, it's actually $1 cheaper without tax mm. than it is to wait for it to come here. Like, it's actually going to cost $98 and some odd change mm. to import it complete. Like, that's it. Pay like, that's it. everything yeah. shipping, tax, uh, everything. Yeah, Nine. they're shipping. They're like China's shipping stuff is just ridiculously cheap. It'd be like four bucks for international shipping. It's like, how the hell do you do that? Well, it's from Japan because that's the yeah, only place thing, that's yeah. getting it. But they're they're all region free, so it doesn't matter. And if I wait, it'll probably take an extra six months to come here. Plus, it'll be ninety nine ninety nine plus tax. Yeah. So it's actually cheaper to just get it now. Yeah. Than from rate. them, but it's also going to take like four weeks to ship it for some fucking reason. So I don't think I'm going to get. I don't think I'm going to get. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get it. To, huh? Got to pay for that Expedia shipping. Oh, fuck that noise, dude! I'm not going to pay like one hundred and fifty bucks for a hundred dollar product. You know, funny enough, just actually, Prime. when I when I ordered my jerseys, I'm just being yeah. when I ordered my jerseys, the uh, the China mail is like I think it's like five to twenty days, and then like the one that's like a buck or two more is um five to ten. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like the same. It's like two bucks more. Yeah, so microtransactions, yeah. sir. Microtransactions. Transactions. What so, news? This is some sexy, competent news. Ooh. <sighs> Mark's hard. Yeah, we had uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had a uh, interesting thing come up this week where um, Ellen Page. Um, you can kind of, kind of see her. I really didn't nude. know which news story you were going to. <laughs> you can kind of see her nude if you have a uh, PS3 where you have a, uh, a debug mode on. Um, apparently, you can get the camera to you know go to certain directions and you kind of see things. So, um, stuff and things. And things. Sony has been going on this whole week trying to, uh, uh, kind of, uh, fire hose the whole situation. Um, there was a firefight! Fire hose it. You yeah. should just keep coming <laughs> up with phallic references. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, so there, they there's... were just trying to spray the liquid <laughs> off of the. I don't know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's going somewhere with that. I don't know. Anyway, so they've been trying to take down all the images of this. Um, I don't exactly know how well it was. All these images have everybody up in arms. I, I can do better than that. Come back to me. Hold on. <laughs> you way better. It's quite, quite disappointing. <laughs> Especially coming I'm from you. I'm going for two. Yeah, I'm going for two. You, I'm just like, wow, these are some low quality jokes. I'm having, a, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, I, I don't exactly know what's going to come of this. Uh, there's not really much you can do. It's in debug mode. It's an know. image of one up. You don't know what's going to come of this? <laughs> well, well, I, I can do better. Hold on. I can do better. Apparently. I can do better. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the thing, though. I mean, yeah, it's it's not like, you know, A, it wasn't actually. Uh, yes, I understand they did a full body scan of Ellen Page yeah. to put her in the game. But it's not like they that she was prancing around fucking the studio naked. Or do and, was she? It's no, David she Cage. was not. She had mocap on. Yeah, there's there's plenty of pictures. Mocap suits with don't mo-cap. leave a lot to the imagination if you ever oh, been yeah. in one. Mocap suits don't show you what your nipples look like. Right here. <laughs> 
You got to use your imagination mm-hmm. out there in, in YouTube land. Kinda so like it's like, I mean, you know. <laughs> they're like little diamonds. What? <laughs> no, no, they're not. It's like a <laughs> bag of sand. <laughs> bag of sand. <laughs> uh. You know, but it's like, you know, if you really have that time to spend trying to find a, a video I game do, digital do, render know, yeah. of Ellen Page nippleless. <laughs> You know, because yeah. I mean, it really, it's I, yeah, you know, I, I'd be more interested if like they they found like a debug mode of William Defoe naked. Yeah, right. You know, I'd be like, like that's fucking impressive. Like, I just don't see how this this became such a fucking big thing. Like, okay, so you're on the internet, so you obviously have access to the internet. Just Google free porn. <laughs> what do you mean Google? Here, you're pornhub.com. <laughs> you're done. Like, you're going to you, link that? What do you need a... I'll link that. Right what, do you, the <laughs> what do you need a... Finally, he does something. What do you need a video game fucking rendering of a chick who kind of has some boyish features anyway? She's not that attractive. I mean, if it was Emma Stone, that'd be a different story. She's ridiculously pale. That's Sorry. okay. Scary pale. That's okay. She's, she's, she's hot, but she's not Hollywood hot. Who, Emma Stone? No. Would you give it to Christina Ricci? Of course. Like, like circa uh, Adam Sandler? the sexiest news we've ever had. No, she was way too young. You were young then, though, too. She was when like fucking eight young. or nine in that, wasn't she? You were probably like eight or nine. She's like our age. Yeah. So? Just saying, that's a little messed up, dude. Trying <laughs> <laughs> to think back to little, like, nine, ten-year-old yourself, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to, like, put what myself about in... juice. Like, would I have? <laughs> like, no, I don't think so. No. <laughs> No, not, not not Michael Keaton. <laughs> the, the, the chick from Beetlejuice. Winona Ryder. No, she was never attractive to me. No? She's not Hollywood hot. She's not even regular hot to me. Like, because to me there's like hot and then there's Hollywood hot. There's oh, a lot of chicks. Maybe, maybe it was something with the like the, the hair that she had was rocking in Beetlejuice. Watch Beetlejuice get a little hard. <laughs> Pornhub.com just Pornhub.com. And, and then you know of course the movie ends and she's in a schoolgirl outfit so it's like solves everything guys in the line. Pornhub.com body on time okay I believe it's free work work you know, we'll buy the DVD no, of Beetlejuice hell it's fucking on YouTube at this point so it's still free I don't give a shit what you guys do go, go. Rosario Dawson in Clerks 2 she's always hot though okay but they're bouncing pretty good hmm yeah, the dance. The hell's the show turned into? Mm. Fun time with Ford compatible. Sexy time. Sexy, sexy news. Sexy competent news. <laughs> just start knocking on the table. Yeah, start off slow. So simulate the pain. I mean, like, I just get in there. I take care of business and I get out. I got to move Especially if I'm where you go. Especially if I'm going with a dry rub. Up. I got to start off slow, man. I don't want fucking Indian burn. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just squeeze that potato. Oh man, my mom watches the show, <laughs> <laughs> and mine doesn't. So my sister, my sister tunes in once in a while. Oh, this will be one episode. <laughs> my girlfriend Chad, <laughs> <laughs> and my priest. <laughs> this show is mysteriously going to go missing. <laughs> oh guys, I don't know what happened. Degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right. <clears throat> Last sexy, competent news story. We have the uh, PlayStation 4 digital sharing was kind of unveiled this week. Um, So here's the official statement. We have uh, each PS4 user will have a registered primary console, and once they download the games on that console, anyone, even people on different gamer tags, can actually play them. Um, More so if you've got a PlayStation Plus subscription on that account, anyone who doesn't have it will actually be able to play multiplayer and uh, use the games. Um, also, you are able to have one secondary kind of console to activate on as well. Um, along with that, uh, they're I'm assuming we're sharing. <laughs> yes. You're my one. <laughs> they're they're, uh, they're releasing the um, the mobile companion for PlayStation in the next. That's coming week. out soon. Yeah, that's coming out real soon. Yeah, the next week uh, for iOS and, and Android, Android. Same day. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. I don't think this is a big deal. I think uh, I think it's still open enough. To, to prove it's pretty free, but it's not as open as the PS3, but the PS3 murdered them, where you could just give people your login and give them hundreds of dollars in games. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, The sharing was so rampant on, on PlayStation Network. They lost so much money, so they had to lock down a little. I didn't expect it to be that 
easy. That open is it yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. When it start when it started, you could link like five or six It was five. Five. Yeah. yeah. So like you and four of your buddies could buy one on the uh, Call of Duty map packs. <laughs> every every fifth game is all you had to buy and you get you know, you could spend twenty bucks and get a hundred bucks worth of shit because everybody would take turns mm-hmm. buying. This is like what I did. I mean, well, why not? I mean, you take advantage of what you can. Um, I mean, yes, and probably part of the reasons down to two, but whatever. Um, I mean, that's what exactly what we did. Games. Um, one bought the map pack, or a little big plan is the only thing we ever bought. But you know, I bought one. Next one. Next one. Next one. So we had all the content. Yeah. For way like cheaper. Four or five bucks, probably. Yeah. So I mean, you know, they had a lockdown on a little bit. It doesn't sound like they went overly dramatic, where they're not letting you do anything anymore. Yeah, because they they still want you to be able to uh, share the games uh, essentially digitally as well. Um, so you don't even have to bring the disc. Well, this is all digital. I mean, the 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 the, yeah. the, the disc based games are just how they work mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Where you you bring them into GameStop, you pick up used, you're fine. They're ready. Everybody's moving away from the online pass. Thank fucking god so i mean it just sounds uh sounds like you're all good uh th- this actually has an advantage over xbox live that i forgot about that you just brought up again uh is the uh because now you have to be a playstation plus member to play online mm-hmm. but what this does is on your your buddy right if they loan you a game then uh you don't need the playstation plus to play multiplayer yeah as long as you have their uh if you play in their account i believe yeah. that's what it is yeah so well, it console. gives you an They're option. Console. Yeah, it gives you an option to try the multiplayer without. Yeah, you know, so that's all. That's kind of cool. Well, keep in mind though, um, Microsoft still hasn't flushed out the family sharing and how that's going to work with multiple consoles and multiple accounts. Which sounded stuff. awesome before everybody went crazy on well, the internet. M- family sharing's back. They just haven't explored they haven't too much more about it. Flushed it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Penis jokes. We got millions of them. Sorry. Sexy competent news. I think it's what, what, probably the first or second time we've done this. Probably. What? The sexy competent news. I think, I think it's I the first I, time ever. I think, I think I did it once before. Actually. I think it's the world premiere. World premiere. I think I did it once before. Actually, we had a world premiere um, this past week on our Halloween one year anniversary Halloween blacklist. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Way to be there for that. Woo-hoo! I wasn't having the first one either. Well, I know. For a have you have you, have you been on the blacklist yet? Yeah, I've been on like th- two, three episodes. Which ones? Both. Um, Woo! Uh, Did you want to hear about Last of Us? Did we do a Last of Us one? We were, we were waiting, never we were waiting for you and yeah. waiting and waiting and waiting. There's no Last vote. of Us one. Um, no, I've been on at least we did Batman two. I did, did Batman. Batman. Uh, I did at least one or two before. Swear to me. What else did we do? Oh, he, he he does it in the game, but it doesn't. He doesn't have the voice. Like when you're interrogating people, you grab him by the throat and he's like, "Tell me where he's at." <laughs> I was like, "Yes." <laughs> It's awesome. Nice. What else did we do before that? I don't remember. The hockey one. Those are the two that you've been on. Highest viewed one. I was going to say. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, like third or fourth. Not ah, yes. But uh, we, had a, we had a world premiere uh, from our buddy Dave, uh, his band, Sinister Fate. Their <laughs> CD actually just came out yesterday. Yeah, oh, yeah, but the video's been out for a week. No, the video came out Friday. Shut your fucking whore mouth, you were Jason. Just such a... just saying. I will slap you in the face with this money potato. This is funny. None jokes. What you doing, Jason? That's all I have for news. We're, we're shorting it up. Um, we're streamlining. We're streamlining. Penis jokes. Because we're going to be back to, to just two parts. Uh, a week. Yeah, we tra- we gave that other thing a shot. We don't like. No likey. No, they didn't like. So that's okay. Mm. We'll see. Our views went we down. Listen. We listen. Well then. I guess it's time for it. Alright. Oh god. Is it time for... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Get that? Oh, I, am, am I supposed to even try? Go. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was, uh, I wasn't saying uh, Gmail. I was just mail? my mail. <laughs> <laughs> Smell like pizza puff. All right, we're gonna kick off Gmail here with Metro Gmail. Android. Gmail. What's up, Metro? He asked, "What is your favorite game on Steam?" 
My favorite game on Steam? No, Steam Up. Steam Up. Steam Up. Um, Let's get ready for Gmail. <laughs> well, well, I, I'm guessing like my technically, if you go on my uh, most played, I guess Team Fortress Two takes it because I, I put a lot of time into that when it was not as broken as it is currently. I think, but um, before hats, before hats, damn hats, damn hats. Um, as far as a favorite though, like it's so hard. There's just so many I already have. I'm just like. Something that I couldn't get anywhere else. Which um, is how I'm making mine. Yeah. Um, FTL stands out a lot to me, actually, still. Um, that, that That's a really unique and cool one, so I might go with FTL. Um, as for me, I have a, a two-way tie, but one's going to get eliminated soon because it's coming to the PlayStations, and that's Binding of Isaac, and I cannot wait for that because the only thing Holding that game back is the PC controls. So when it's got full controller support without having to fucking redo the whatever it's called and mm-hmm. messing with the with the, the drivers and fucking all that other stupid computer shit, excellent. But since that is coming to the PlayStation, I'll go with my other one, and that's going to be Killing Floor. I absolutely love that game. Uh, I'd love it even more if it had you know proper controller support. But you know. Um. Since we're speaking about so controllers, maybe. and, and uh, it, uh, again, I know I'm kind of going out over here. Uh, Brian did get some hands-on time with a PS4 controller this past week. He did. What did you? Um, they're in stores. Yeah. you can go buy a DualShock mm-hmm. Four. I don't know why you'd want one, but they're they're yeah. sitting in store shelves. Um, yeah, they do the unboxings on all the major. I websites. will. Uh, I will actually ask him if he's going to do a little write-up or something, or if he's going to be on next week's show. I don't want to butcher his words. Let him describe to everyone how it was. Um, if he does do a little write-up, we'll link it on our Facebook and so on and so forth. Um, favorite Steam game. I, I don't really do a lot of PC gaming anymore. Uh, I think I have a total of five Steam games, to be completely honest. Um, I got a bunch of coupons. You want to buy some? Uh, no. Got the coupons. No. Coupons the thirds. I would, I would, there would have to be something that I want to play on Steam that I can't play on my console. There's not really, with, with exception of FTL. Look. Good look. They're, they're, FTL. I, if I ever get an FTL, I, 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 I want to do FTL. I also think it's coming to the PlayStations. Yeah, um, I'll buy it instantly. They but like money. the the most that I've done on Steam was uh, Counter Strike. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I still I still play Counter Strike and Day of Defeat. You know, it just amazes me that uh, I forgot a Day of Defeat. I don't know why. No, I like the Day of Defeat. Yeah, no, I heard it was good. It just it yeah. Yeah, World War Two Counter Strike. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I still, on occasion, jump on and play those, uh, especially since you can you know, just run bots and stuff on mm. them. Um, I've had a lot of fun with those. There was there was one other mod that we used to play um, when we used to go to a cyber cafe, and I, for the life of me, can't remember the name of it, but it had a bunch of different action heroes in it. Mm. It had, like, Neo from The Matrix yeah. and, like, Sylvester Stallone, and it was ridiculous. I used to play it with Angry what Andy. Was it? Uh, what was it called? I don't remember the name of it. It was where you could do the jumps and everything like mm-hmm. that? Um, the replacements. It was something like that. Yeah, yep, it was something it was like, like that. Yeah. I actually have... That's actually probably my most played um, um, Half-Life 1 mod, I think is what yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I play the shit up out of the replacements. Yeah, that was awesome. And then Ricochet. But I never did Ricochet. Like really? Yeah, I never did. Really? Um, actually, because I, apparently FTL is coming to consoles, I'm going to have to go with Gary's mod instead. I was going to say, I'm surprised you didn't say Gary's mod, you know, with all the rape... Damn it, this episode's gone. We dance around it. This is what we do. Yeah. There was this whole... Yeah. Sorry. That episode was funny. Never to be heard. So. I had a good time that day, though. That was... Doing, I mean, I might as well say it. I mean, raping the mayor was hilarious, all right? That, that was just goddamn funny, all right? And then uh, getting the STDs, that, that was awesome. Gary's mod. Gary's mod. Love it. You gotta do it. Best thing ever. Um, moving on. He's not moving. Lycios. 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 I can say it even. Hi. Um. What's that? (laughs) Lycios. Klaatu (laughs) Verata. Um. He's speaking tongues. Tony knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Like but he also missed this question. Why? Um, Don't touch my potatoes. <laughs> David Letterman. He wrote, 
<laughs> so, my so, prize winning <laughs> potato is being thrown. <laughs> you got David Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> He wrote, since lately there's been a string of actually good movie tie-in games, like Amazing Spider-Man, Green Lantern, uh, or something. <laughs> Do you think they have finally found the way to make movie tie-ins uh, compared to the old days? Uh, he remembers the old days on the SNES, uh, where movie tie-in games like Batman, they were horrible. Um, what do we think? Have they finally found the formula to make a good... Movie tie-in game. Uh, no. I, I there's nothing that even stands out as a direct movie to video game one. Like I heard, Amazing Spider-Man was was pretty good. I can yeah, I can give you that. Going to the Vita. Um, Sp- actually, funny enough, I think Spider-Man's probably one of the few ones that has actually had a few of the mm-hmm. ones in the spotlight. Wolverine X Men Origins was really good. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, that, I heard that was good too. It was very, yeah. it was it was a God of War ripoff. It was a but, total yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I heard that that was pretty good too. Um, I just don't think they have enough um, time. I, mean, I I would want to say yes that some of them you know when when done properly can be good. But then I think of like Walking Dead Survival Instinct, and I understand that that's a video game. But I mean that was horrible. Like you take the most badass characters in the show, mm. Daryl Merle Dixon, and you put them in a video game. It should be fucking amazing. Yeah. It's not. It's not. And I really wanted to like that game. It was it was good because it was so bad. You gotta figure if you went in with blinders and it still sucked, that was really bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean I knew it was gonna be horrible, but I'm like, you know, I'm gonna try it anyways, because you know it's Walking Dead and it's Activision and like, you know, you would thought they would have had Activision a publishes rate. some high quality games. They just don't throw their name on anything. Oh wait, that's exactly what Oh shit, that's exactly <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, it, um, but if you do want to talk about really good movie tie-ins, um, I have to give it to Telltale. Uh, even if, for as bad as Jurassic Park was, it's still like leaps and bounds over. I liked Jurassic Park. I just I feel they went backward. That's mm-hmm. all. Because Back yeah. to the Future was good. It had a lot of problems. And like after that, it seemed like every iteration got better and better yeah. and better. And The Wolf Among Us is very promising mm-hmm. from what I played so yeah. far. But Jurassic Park seemed like it was a yeah, step it was, back. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, it was it was good, but I meant like as far as like ranking it on there, yeah. yeah. They they know how to take an IP and and make it work. Mm-hmm. Um, and not a lot of studios do. Um, uh, I think like t- I know Tony plays a lot of the Spider Mans, and those get good Spider-Man. reviews. I don't think I've played a Spider Man since like PS Two days. Spider-Man, um, besides Batman, that's like the the only other like superhero I kind of care about. Yeah, like, I, guess he can. I mean, I can't even count because he's Spider-Man. I can't even count the Batman games because they're they're not based on any specific continuity. Spider Pig, Spider Pig, doing whatever Spider Pig oh, does. Um, you know, uh, Miss Krabappel died. Yeah, I know. Yeah, now I have to kill off two characters this season. Um, and then um, I don't think they're gonna kill her off. She's just retiring. Yeah. They're just like not gonna. They're just gonna like never mention her again. Mm-hmm. They're just gonna like let her oh, fade okay. off. That works. And then, um, um, what was this? They should pull what they did with South Park when uh, Chef when Chef fucking uh, left. Where they just cut out. They cut out old sound bites from yeah. like his back episodes and made him sound psycho, and then they killed him off. Yeah. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, go, yeah. Go. For me, like. Um, I don't think they've done any real, real good ones. We we. Like, we've played so many games between the three of us for the last two decades, and we thought of three okay movie tie-ins. I don't think... I honestly think the best thing to do, which would make these games fine, is take the concept. There's nothing wrong with taking characters or an idea from movies or television, like what they did with Walking Dead the Game from Telltale. None of those characters... Well, majority of those characters have nothing to do with the comics or the uh, the TV show, they took the idea and then made a cool game out of it. Mm-hmm. You could do that with lots of stuff. Um, you know, like like uh, I, that's why I'm so scared about them making like an Uncharted movie or TV series or something is just ruining it, which they're more likely to do than actually make something good. But if you want to take something of that element, that's cool. Or like uh, I, I don't know anything like 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 Spider Man. Just because a new Spider Man movie is coming out. Doesn't mean you have to like 
try to follow the plot line mm-hmm. of the movie verbatim and then you can have and those then characters in different scenarios doing something else like hanging out the week before the movie takes place or showing the aftermath of mm-hmm. the movie I mean it's okay if you want to weave a little bit of the story in there yeah that's that's fine and dandy I think that's honestly the best way to do a movie tie-in would be like almost like a bullshit ending like like a the movie stopped here. Here's an mm-hmm. extended look at it. Yeah. Through what we would have done. Mm-hmm. Done. Why does it have to? You know. I honestly think it has a lot to do with the fact that it goes through a lot of those have are there. There ties of Hollywood with it because it's through a movie. So mm-hmm. you have to probably deal with a lot of movie producers, and they they want to basically do a retelling of the movie most of the time. Yeah. Not all the time, but you still have to. It's merchandising. Yeah. You know, um, really, really quick. I got. Plus, go. they're given very short. Yeah, like I mean. they're like, like have you, you have four months, you, like mm-hmm. you have four or five months. Make this game. I got a couple that I'm gonna just shoot out there really quick. For one, um, uh, Lego uh, DC or Lego Batman Two, mm-hmm. they actually took all the cutscenes from that game and made it into a short movie nice. that, that, that you can buy, and it's actually really cute. Mm-hmm. Um, Riddick was another one that was actually really well done, yeah. and they're they're actually doing a yeah, but the uh, movie sucked. Well, this is, I mean, it, it, it ties yeah. into everything. Now, I liked Chronicles of Riddick. I did too. All right, and I've seen the new Riddick, and I actually really like the new Riddick. Didn't see the new Riddick yet. Yeah. No. Something to steal for later. Um, it's always free 99 right on the bike. But uh, that was another uh, really well done game crossover. Yeah, was... um, and the best one ever, and this is where we're going to leave it. No comments, nothing, just right here. Okay. Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Oh my God! What are you talking? <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, pause the video, click another tab on YouTube. I was at Street Fighter, the movie, the game. I was actually okay with the Mortal Kombat one. The movie, the first one was good, but that was a movie based off a of video game mm-hmm. world, not, not vice versa. Yeah. But see, this was a video game based off a of movie based off a of video game. Yeah. To what? <laughs> exactly. Um. Inception. Like you, I know you had a, uh, another question. Um, we're gonna save that one for next week if you don't mind. I'm gonna do. Um, Epic Beast. How's it going, sir? So, Sorry, I was a bit dry. I was waiting. I was waiting for something just like cricket. Smoking is somebody cute. farting. Yeah, gross. Sorry, guys. What is the game you wish? What is the game that you wish developers would make for next gen, but most likely won't? I'd like to see Jack and Daxter 4. Uh, I'd like to see Naughty Dog revisit that, but at the same time, I don't, because uh, Naughty Dog, very much like Telltale, just keeps getting better. Uh, so, like, I, I don't even I don't even know how they much... They are watching that TV very loud. <laughs> I, I don't even know how much I'd want them to go back to such an old IP at this point, because it's just like, you almost want to see what else they can do. We got... Uh, you don't want them to get pigeonholed. We got five... Uh, Jack and Daxter games, three of them from Naughty Dog, and then no, okay, er, yeah, I'll take one. Can um, I take a potato? No, you have to win those. Uh, but between the three real games plus Daxter, the handheld version, and uh, Jack X, the racing title, we got to experience enough of that universe where it's okay to move on. Uh, I know I've said this on a show before with Uncharted as well. It's like my favorite series of this past generation. Uncharted 2 is my favorite game of all time. Uh, but uh, do I ne- do I need do I need for them to revisit that? Uh, no. If they want to move on and keep making great games like The Last of Us and now whatever they're thinking of doing next, feel free to fucking do it. I, I can't wait to do to play anything that those guys make. They're that good. So I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, so I took this question in a little bit of a different light of games that are uh, basically coming out this gen that probably aren't coming out next gen. That's how, that's how I think I'm going to answer it. Yeah, like I, I honestly have like three right oh, off the bat. I could do that too. Yeah. You, you want to do it right now? Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. That's one of mine. Gran Turismo 6 and the new Batman game. Add Gran Turismo 5. So I would definitely answer with uh, the new Ratchet and Clank. My next one would be uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.5. That's just stupid. You're not coming out because it's coming out probably mid next year. Um, but uh, my number one of all of those actually happens to be Murdered Soul Suspect. Um, that is one of the games that is probably my coolest to come out next year, and it's not coming to the next gen, so I'm probably going to just buy it on PC. Hmm. Oh, it's well, South Park Stick of Truth. That's a good one, too. I'm just going to borrow that from one of you guys. Yeah. You're done with it. Yeah, Log in my Steam account. 
No, uh, Tony will buy it for console. I'll play it on yep. console where it belongs. Um, <laughs> Probably. I would. Uh, where, where men play games. Yeah. You know what I mean. So was it? I would. Uh, I, I would agree. Um, I want Arkham Origins uh, on, on next gen. I think it would look amazing. Um, See that? That's the thing, real quick. Just with Arkham Origins before you go, I think I'd be more forgiving if it was a next gen because it looked prettier mm-hmm. and you, you got to give them a grace period when yeah. councils launch because they're just starting to understand the tech so if there was a bad thing or two mm-hmm. about that game i'd be more forgiving and i'd have some blinders on like if if there's any flaw with this current one it's just going to be glaring yeah. because you've had so long to understand these pieces of hardware, and you're still fucking shit up. I mean, I, I know you're pretty booked up for the the holiday and everything, but I'm probably gonna hang on to it if you. Want yeah, to that's get, probably what I'm gonna it, I'll just grab the. I want to beat city first. Uh, Never gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Ever. Um, I would go with Arkham Origins. Um, I would definitely want to see GTA on the next con. I think it's on, coming. Though. I think it they will do that as a download for the online. I'm really kind of hoping for I that. I really hope so. Um but the main reason is that um that fucking 5 minutes of loading when you boot up the game. Yeah. It's just uh, Oh. That's why, that's why I'm hoping for that next. I, I mean I think that's a PS3. Rockstar, I think that's a PS3 thing. Rockstar. No, 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 no. Xbox is quick. Well, it might be, uh, but either way, I mean, like, if you're gonna have, I mean, and, and I understand, case. I understand that they're loading the game and, and it's the, a seamless world and there's no load times or oh, anything. That's amazing. It. I mean, that's why I'm okay with it. It is. Give me something to do in that little mini, like, have like a little arcade game or something playing. Uh, kind of like I with miss Ridge Racer, like, like Ridge Racer, that. or even Dragon Ball. Uh, if either of you played the older Dragon Ball games, they'd have like. The little the little uh, aliens pop up and you'd have to like you, you just jab them with the mouth you know stuff like that something to do while you're, while it's loading um, instead yeah, of those just six screenshots get really annoying mm-hmm. yeah that same chick in the bikini the yeah the same fucking yeah I free uh, Franklin sitting there with chop mm-hmm. and fucking that's not even Franklin that's Lamar with chop but anyways um, whatever. <laughs> So I want you to pay attention to the last um, 10 most So Arkham <laughs> Origins, uh, GTA, um, and and I don't know why. I mean, especially since it's 2K, why is the new WWE not on next gen? I mean, I don't NHL. care. I don't, you guys I, too. All, all you have to do is put a nice little shiny coat on it. It could be the exact same game. I, I would rather that. buy it on, on my Xbox One. Then I, I would I'd wait. I take the same graphics, same features. I everything. Yeah, it. exactly. It could be the same exact game, and I'd rather play it. But um, because I'm getting rid of my three, I want them up four. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. You know. Uh, but yeah, WWE. Uh, I I don't I don't know why. Pretty much anything that came out in the last month, and is coming out post November fifteenth slash twenty second, depending on your console like of choice. More, there's more, no reason they shouldn't both. Yeah, no. I'm I'm really scared. Uh, with, stuff for next year, with too. how Walking Dead season two is going to be, yeah. How how are you? So I don't know how the data is going to transfer for now. I mean, they said it will. I know, but now you're going cross gen. You're not going to have the same data. Mm-hmm. Still. Telltale games don't look very good, so no, I don't, I'm not. No, well, no visually, I'm saying you know, your game safe. What I'm saying is, I don't think I mind. Like, if there's problems with that, I very well may just get that on PS3 as well because that's where I have my original one. Just to have it sync better yeah. easily or whatever the fuck. I mean, unless you just do the major decisions. Yeah, kind of like, like what, what Mass Effect, Effect 2. So I hope not, because I don't remember what the fuck I picked, and I kind of like the way that my story played out. I love the way my I'm, story I like mine out. too, yeah. Kill the ending. Spoilers. And I'm, loving, and I'm loving my walking, my uh, Wolf Among Us so far. I'm, yeah, I'm, I looked really good. Like, if I didn't have, if I didn't have <laughs> two games <laughs> in a week to play, I, I, I would have bought that already. I would have. Just because it's Telltale, and I don't know anything about the comic... And it's awesome. I it's, told you I want to start actually reading those. Yeah. It's a really cool universe. I would like how, how does nobody talk about this? They they do though. It's 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 the same way that like Walking Dead became big what 3 years ago? Right? Something around those about, about yeah, roughly yeah. when the show started. It yeah, was exactly. a smash hit from the first episode. Walking Dead at that point was 7 years old. Yeah. So, yeah. How long has the Fable series been going? Oh geez, there's oh. like a hundred episodes, a hundred issues. So it's about ten years too. Oh okay, give or take. Um, all right, we good? We good with that? We good? Moving on, moving on, moving on. Magnus, he asked if each one of you 
or a character from Grand Theft Auto V, who would be who? Each of the three characters can only be used once. So now how do we want to decide who's going to go first? Excellent question. Well, Michael, what I, do you I think, think? Uh, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> um, who I just kicked is two nails, two nails, two nails. No, we're good. Okay. Um, uh, okay, we'll start with Mark. <laughs> I think Mark. Oh, we're doing each other? It's a good thing. I don't know. No, I like we, it. Or like, we can like just like talk it out. We can just talk. Let's do each other. I think Mark would have to be Franklin. Obviously, because of the skin color. Obviously, uh, the young. No, but but when you yeah, but yeah, exactly. When you take when you take into account what's going on, Mark's Mark's the young guy. Me and Jason, the old timers, are showing so him the ropes. Old. Got a little grays too, Michael. <laughs> uh, you know, patch right here. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't give a fuck. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's kind of like the young gun that uh, the other two are showing the ropes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think. I think he would be the best Franklin because of that. With how perverted you two are, I just, I just <laughs> that's just so awful. <coughs> just from knowing you guys, you can't say we're just showing him the ropes. Yeah, we're easing him into it. Um, <laughs> you always got to ease it into first. What? I don't know who would make a better Michael or Trevor out of us. <sighs> who's I'm fucking, calling. I'm. Who's fucking crazier? I see. I, I I imagine Jason going going more insane I, I, see, than he I would. Think, I think I think you guys. I think you guys. Have, yeah, yeah. I think you guys have a, a good point. Pointing out my alcoholism, <laughs> <laughs> relating it so strongly to Michael. Uh, you got the the family who who, you, who isn't around that they, they left you already and you didn't even know it. Yeah, yeah. You know, Trevor. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying voting for myself. Or Trevor does have crazy tattoos. I've got crazy tattoos. Mm. Mm. I just figured if I think I'll go with myself as Michael and you as Trevor. Call that right away. Well, you want to go into it a little bit? Uh, with you? Sure. I honestly, I don't think you're very like Trevor. Uh, I it's kind of like by default. Like I don't think any of us are like Trevor. <laughs> Trevor's fucking insane. Uh, yeah. Uh, there aren't too many glaring similarities. Uh, I don't think you would make a very good pilot. Which is I actually what he's have known for. I actually have eight hours of flight training. Oh, do you? Yes, sir. And that'll go that'll go in your favor as well then. Um, Meth addict. Yeah. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Speed. Yeah, I have my own business. You do just kind of walk into random dudes' houses who are cousins with somebody you know and mm-hmm. kind of overtake their condos. <laughs> um, a lot of times it happen to me more. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's all I got. That's the closest I think I can get. No, I, I, in all honesty, I think you're just kind of Trevor by default because we okay. ran out of characters yeah. and ran out of crew members. Okay. Mark, your turn. About the, the, the yeah, you, like, you, you know, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I actually have the exact same grouping. I would be Franklin, got Michael, and I got Trevor. Um, some of the reasons behind it would be, for some reason, Tony just kind of like... He's, He's, he's Michael. He, 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 a little bit, a little bit. Down to his luck, you know. Down his luck. Always in, but walking around strip clubs. Or My daughter's a whore. Daughter's a whore. <laughs> Doesn't even know it. I don't have a daughter. <laughs> they know. knows of. Yeah. Um, yeah Jason, my reason behind that is uh, I, I, I do imagine you, if uh, it, it shit's in the fan, you're going to go insane and probably start killing people. Not really, but... I, Jason does happen. rage out quite a bit. Yeah. It, it's because of your... your that's what I mean. You have like the the random like stupid fucking whatever, and you know, a little yeah. So you have a little bit of an anger issue, you might say. <laughs> <laughs> might, might might be a little cynical as well. He's so angry. So angry. God. So uh, that that's how my yeah, goes. Uh, Where's yeah. the thingy? Where's yeah, it's the thingy? over here. We're good though. Keep going. Okay, rock on. Dude, well, it's your turn. I, I, I'm not it, it freaks me out when the screensaver for the computer goes off. It, it scares me. That's so what. I, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I've got this shit unlocked. Okay, <laughs> it's taken care of. Don't worry about it. Just Don't make worry sure about the video's it. still running. <laughs> wait, wait. No. I got it unlocked. Yeah. No. We're good. Well, because the little thing disappears to show me that it's still recording the video. So. Okay, rock on. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, I would. I would. I would almost, uh, I, I would agree. Uh, well, you guys call me a good driver, too. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so At least you know, getting away from cops, I guess. 
Uh, um, there's qualities of each character in, in all of us in, in a certain regard. I I, I believe. Okay. Um, you know, yeah, Mark's got you know obviously he's the young guy and everything like that. Um, but I'm, I'm so the one old. that probably grew up in the ghetto. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> like I come from Humboldt Park. <laughs> I come from Rosemont. Yeah, exactly. You know. Um, Tony Tony is a raging alcoholic. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm I'm coming right for you though. Are you, are you yeah. catching up? Yeah, I'm, ca- I'm, I'm we catching up. We don't booze up. together enough. No, we you don't. Know, you know, we're the, both drunk all the time. You don't, you know, <laughs> but never together. <laughs> yeah, I'm at a bar like two, three. Days I did week, all no. that shit before I was 21. So did I. I've been yeah. drinking no, I steadily since I was 14. Yeah. Um, the the reason I guess that that I, I kind of familiarize with with Trevor a little bit. I don't is, quit like Jason. <laughs> I'm not a quitter. <laughs> I'm not a quitter. No, not at all. I'm just on hiatus. Let me just build my stamina back up. That's good. <laughs> One beer. Oh, guys. <laughs> I did have a... I did oh, you guys have, smell nice, he by wakes, the way. He wakes, he wakes up in the morning. He's like, man, those apple teenies were delicious, but they made my asshole hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I did have, I did have, a, uh, I did have a, a Bailey's and Rum Chata last uh, Sunday. Yeah. When we were doing uh, the Blacklist. I did get a little buzz going. <laughs> did. Fruit Tolerance drink. sucks, man. I oh, yeah. wish I could have a half a beer and be shit face. Oh. You know how cheap that'd be? Three um, bucks. The, I guess the the reason that I familiarize with with Trevor is, is because he's your typical redneck. Yeah. Uh, even though he's Canadian. Is he? Yes, he's Canadian. I don't think so there's a little mark in there. Yeah, there's ah, a little shit. mark in there. But uh, like I said, there's qualities of each character. Um, I think uh, if the thoughts that went through my head. If I acted him out, I'd be more like Trevor. Mm. I mean, everybody has fucked up thoughts like that. Some Trevor tendencies. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what made him uh, as much of a raging fucking psychopath he is in the game. I think that's what kind of made him so lovable. He I, is, though. It was some of the... It was just, his cutscenes were, were definitely... I love Trevor. Trevor's yeah. hysterical. Yeah. I, I like... I want to see those three characters... And I know, I know Franklin didn't have a big impact on you... His story gets a little bit better. That's also why he's like Mark. I just, yeah. I just don't just really like him. him. <laughs> Been together for years, damn it. <laughs> Throw this relationship down a drain. But like Mark in a test, just like the alcohol. <laughs> Franklin's story gets a little bit better. Well, I haven't got a little, a little bit better. A little bit. Um, it's not atrocious. No, it's just yeah, I agree. It does get three. better. Yeah. But it's they could have they could have cut Franklin out of the game and you could have got to the same conclusion with just Michael and Trevor. Yeah. But uh, you know I I get it. You but the last few happen. missions definitely make mm-hmm. an impact because it is from Franklin's side of it. Mm-hmm. That's but, where it gets. Yeah, that's cool. where it gets. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you know I I think that's what makes Trevor so likable is because he's batshit fucking crazy and he's kind of like if you take that social filter off. That's what, like, what he is. That's what a lot of us would be like if you didn't have to remain a, a respectable member of society. Yeah. If you could just do what you felt all the time and say what you just meant. Just drink all I mean, the time. We, don't we kind of do that now, though, on our on our own show? I mean, it's the fucking, it's the Wild West out here. There's no regulations on a podcast. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, Take right. your pants off! Yeah! <laughs> Don't throw my controller. It's new. Oh. All right. <laughs> where's your notes, Tony? They where's, got, your, where's your potato? Where's your potato? <laughs> they got David motherfucking <laughs> all fucking way over there. It's, it's in the room. Why is the potato all the way over there? <laughs> it's, it's room. I won that. <laughs> what a fortune cookie? No. All right. All right. Um. Look out for it. Hey, room. No, we got one more. Frankie B. Um, what was your first online alias? And also, what is your favorite birthday dinner spot? Okay. My first (laughs) online alias. I've said this, but it's been long ago. So if you joined us later in the podcast's existence, maybe you haven't heard the story. Uh, My first online game was this game called Descent. And it's actually where I still have my current... Uh, gamer tag, even though it, it got added to, uh, of where I came up with Jerker, 
Uh, it really has innocent origins, uh, and now I think it's hilarious. <laughs> so, um, jerker, jerker. Um, there was this weird thing you had to do with the 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 uh, rifles, <laughs> where there was this like ridiculous caulking motion that went on, and it was like this really fast jerking thing, and it, it was like. <laughs> I was really better and better. I was really so innocent. I was really young. I was like eight or nine when I started playing this game, this shooter on on PC, and uh, so it, re- it really didn't have bad fucking intentions when I created a name. Uh, then when I finally signed up for PSN and Xbox Live, uh, the ju- the name just Jerker was taken, which was always my name. So I added my birthday to it, which is ten fifteen October fifteenth. So. That's where I got my gamer tag, my email, my everything. I know I'm friends with a bunch of you guys on the, you know, PlayStation and Steam and shit. That's that's where it came from. It was my first alias, and I stuck through it forever. My first one would have been... Um, Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket. No, mine would have been... Uh, I joined a Band of Brothers-themed um, clan for Call of Duty 1 and Battlefield 1942, and I was given the name David Webster. Because he was my favorite character, and I actually, no one had his name at the time, so I totally used his name, and that was my first alias for I've got, years. I've got the online handle, Optimus Prime, and as you know, there's a new Transformers movie coming out, <laughs> so I'm kind of like, set up to have like the best online handle, and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you did the hair flick. That's what he does. And whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> Clerks too. And see. <laughs> you done? Did I just cut you off? Or no, that was it. That was, that, right. that was my whole story. Uh, Jesus. Uh, uh, my first online handle, uh, of course, was based on wrestling. Um, it was GR8 and O-N-E. So, great, great one. one. Yeah. Which, uh, I, I understand, Gretzky was called the great one first, but it was based off of The Rock. Uh, that, so, that's what, so Wayne Gretzky fan. Wayne Gretzky fan over there. Yeah. Good old Wayne. Mm. Um, uh, and that was my old AOL login <laughs> and email, and that carried over with me for a while. Um, and then uh, I, I don't know Wayne Gretzky existed. And it's J Axel, not Jaxel. It's I Jack. can't stand it. Jaxel. People say Jaxel. Um, I say Jaxel. My Jackson. my tenure. You say Jaxel because it's Jaxel. It's Jaxel. It sounds better together. than a fucking jerker. <laughs> now, if you put a space in there, I'd be J Axel. But that's, that's how I, if I was trying to get J Axel across, that's exactly how I would that's do it. I would do it or at least really. you hyphenate that shit. You hyphen, yeah. You, you don't it just make it word because it becomes Jackson. Maybe you can put a, a period in it. J dot Axel. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's getting the belt out. <laughs> um, and then time uh, to shove Mark the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. It's the raw. <laughs> Uh, and then um, for City of Heroes, which was probably the longest time that I had, uh, you know, a, an online handle. The and it kind of sounds a little queer, but I can explain to it you where jerker. it came from. No, the, the character's name was Valo Falcone. Valo Falcone. Valo. Okay. Valo. Uh, Valo, the, the name of the lead singer from from Falcone, him. I know. Uh, and then Falcone was uh, not based on Batman. Oh, okay. Then but, I don't uh, know. There was a there was a movie that came out in the early two thousands uh, called Haggard, uh, a Bam Margera movie, mm-hmm. and and his character in the, I'm sorry, uh, Brandon DiCamello's character in the movie was named Falcone. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I just took those two names and put them together. Kind of sounded kind of heroic, but you know, in hindsight it was a little queer, but whatever. Hey, still have it. So. Better than that because uh, my first. Uh, Better than Jerker. <laughs> <laughs> Anything MMO related, I, I, I use Desert Fox for. Yeah. I don't even know how many years, like a half decade. decade He'll probably decade, kill me, probably but decade. it's interesting because uh, Angry Andy, uh, his character's name was Droganus. G-R-O, G-R-O-G-A-N-U-S. I'm like, really? Your name has anus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know where that came from. I'll have to ask him one day, but yeah, Droganus. Mm. So what's the second part, part of that? Huh? Oh, oh, your <laughs> shit! I forgot. There's another part of the yeah, your favorite uh, birthday spot. Favorite spot. Tony's like anywhere well, that there's fucking alcohol. No, um, I I don't know because I don't. I, I think we used to do this more when I was younger. We used to go out for like for a special birthday dinner. No, and treat yourself. 
Oh, I do have a place that I do serve, mm. but I do it for lunch. Um, I go to Portillo's, which is a, a decent-sized local uh, Red Hot chain here in the Chicagoland area. I think they're even starting to go. They're, they're in California and somewhere yeah, Arizona. They're, they're kind of amazing, actually. I'd uh, say if you're ever in Chicagoland, it's a must. I don't know. Actually. I can't vouch for the crap in California because by the time it gets there, it might be old or shitty or they don't know how to no, they do. They really good. they do really good with shipping their shit. No, but I don't know how if the Californians know how to make a fucking Chicago hot dog. Well, so I can't. Have, I can't they vouch don't know how for how to make a fucking pizza. That's for sure. Yeah. So um, I'm not gonna vouch for anything outside of the Chicagoland area, but uh, over here they are really, really good. Um, and uh, I tend to go for lunch to treat myself to their half slab rib dinner meal, That's so good. where they give you a little pasta, a little salad, a roll, and a slab of ribs. I've done that all the time. They're delightful. I usually do that for myself during the day, and at night, I don't know, it's different. Sometimes my mom cooks, sometimes we go out. Uh, but, yeah, that'll be my my answer. Nice. Currently, oh. my favorite uh, for dinner, um, I guess, for my birthday is uh, Hula Hands, actually. The thing's just... Uh, Park Ridge? Yeah, Park Ridge one. Yeah, they got a few. It's a Let Us Entertain You place, but... Uh, so. They're actually they're actually nationwide. Yeah, I was... Yeah. Who lands or less entertain you? Uh, who lands? Okay, I think less entertain you is nationwide as yeah. well, so that it would explain it. I got um, like a fifty dollar let us entertain you gift card somewhere. I do too. I know where it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I use it tomorrow. Hmm? Got a grandpa. There you go. Um, good food. Leaders of Long Island's, six bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Such bucks. garbage of booze though. Was that? It's all garbage booze. It's like Bellows and fucking Gordons. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Delicious. Mark saying I give no fucks. I give no fucks. I get a buzz for like five bucks. Um, I mean, I, I don't really have like a favorite food place per se. Burger King down the street. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, um, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of on the low end. Like, I like, uh, for my birthday, I like to go to Chili's, and they got where you get a steak and ribs, the combo, and and that's what I usually get. Um. They good ribs there too. They, they do. The, the, the Memphis Dry Rub is really good. Yeah. 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 Memphis Dry Rub. Chili's stuff. Baby, yeah. really yeah. you know, And then you get the, the, chip, the, chip, the chips with the queso dip. Oh, it's oh, the queso dip. Amazing. So, barbecue sauce. Oh, As you love their guacamole, though, more. Oh, makes my asshole burn just thinking about it. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> yeah, what are we talking about, kid? <laughs> um, and I used to love... Who had the, the awesome... Well, yeah, Chili's used to have the awesome blossom, but then it belonged oh, to someone Oh, man. Else. Uh, Outback Steakhouse. Outback Steakhouse. Yeah. That awesome blossom that is still yeah. amazing. So good. Oh, yeah. fried onion deliciousness. And, and, I that really sauce. and like, I don't like uh, onion rings. No, I don't like. Not, it really onion. doesn't taste like. I don't. Onion. No, I know. It doesn't. That sauce. I think that's zesty sauce. Like that. It's like, it's, it's like zesty thousand island. Yeah. It's the same shit on a Big Mac. <laughs> you know? yeah. But uh, yeah, that, that's probably me. You know, uh, it, it's not about for me. It's more like not about where I go to eat. It's like who who goes with kind of deal. So I don't give a fuck if we're. No, at Burger King. Down the street. <laughs> Down the street. Only that one. It's the only Burger King that exists. Yeah. Jason. I don't need to at Burger King. <laughs> we know. That's why we keep bringing it up. <laughs> I saw somebody throw up in there. <laughs> I know. Like he was mid-bite. He was like... <laughs> and it just like out the sides. And, and like then he continued to eat the burger. <laughs> right in the dining room. <laughs> what is <laughs> just vomiting out. He's like, I paid four bucks for this, this thing. This was, oh, this, was oh, like, this was like probably 10, 12 years ago. At least. At least. Oh, no, it was longer than terrible. that. It was it was like early 2000s. Because that, that's when you used to still be able to smoke in Burger King. And that's where we used to go, like, hang out. Where you're like fucking, like, you know, 13. We're like, we're going to go smoke in Burger King. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Let's, let's just right into it. I'm scared. And then vomit all out the sides. It's gross. As always, um, you can send us your questions. Uh, uh, well, what the fuck was I going to say? Yeah, yeah there. Uh, forward compatible podcast at... <laughs> Mail? <laughs> that might be one of the worst ones, yeah. F-O-R-W-A-R-D-C-O-M-P-A-T-I-B-L-E, the at symbol... Dot com. You can also find a link to our 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 what? Where do hand jobs? No, no. Where do they? Well, 
You can also find our email address on our website. And our email address is... Gmail! Yes, it's just Gmail. Email at Gmail. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll come through uh-huh. eventually. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it passed down. Yeah. Gmail! Oh, um, we should let everybody know. Um, we've decided that uh, we're. I'm still going to get everything sent out for the Impoverished Geek question. Um, we're probably going to change up how we do that. We're going to probably end up doing it uh, like monthly. And we'll make the People didn't want enough free stuff. Yeah, the prize you know, is bigger. The, the prize will be a little bit bigger and, and things like that. The question will be a lot harder. So that's how Tony likes it. Um, what are you doing? Nothing. Why is my controller on? Uh, batteries. What the fuck? I can't wait to see what this episode's like today. This is like... I had a ridiculous amount of fun. I hope the episode didn't suck balls. I'm right now, I'm this is con- a lot of fun. I'm actually today. controlling uh, Jason's PlayStation 3 right now. Um... It actually is connected and online, so uh, I, I, you know, I might be deleting everything. I might be formatting. I will fucking kill you. I would, too. It took me four days to download I think you hit the PlayStation button, go over five left. I'll punch you in the mouth. One, two, Down three. nine. Right now, one, I will two, punch three, you in the mouth. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hit X. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I'm making it up, dude. It's <laughs> <laughs> just right all, the whole you time. Can, are you going to close out the show? Uh, this is an episode... 90? Mark through my book. Part 1. 90 part 1. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch us next week, same time. Format. Hey, Keep formatting.